Hey everybody, welcome back for an especially trippy and colorful edition of Show Rebuke. And today we're taking a look at a game with an odd title, and that's Illmatic Envelope Swamp, which can be shortened to Ilvelo Swamp. And while I don't really know what the hell that means, I do know that this is a very fun and unique shoot 'em up, though I can admit it might not be for everyone. It was developed by a little team called RS. 34, and if that sounds familiar, it's because they also developed Rattergy Swag, another shooter that I reviewed recently, and the two games are now bundled together in a single collection for the Nintendo Switch. And if you like your shooters with a lot of personality and a bit of strategy involved in the gameplay, it's a collection you'll want to pick up. Anyway, Olmatic Envelope Swamp. Let's see how good a job I do at describing this one because, again, it's anything but your average shooter. When you first start playing this game, you'll probably be a little confused. As you take on the first stage, you might notice that there are plenty of enemies on screen, but no bullets, and nothing seems like it can hurt you, so what the hell is going on? Well, to understand your objective, you'll need to look to the left side of the screen. There's a ton of info here, but if you look up to the top, you'll see your objectives for the stage, namely the enemies you'll need to destroy and how you'll need to destroy them. By fulfilling these goals, you'll earn keys, and you'll need those keys to gain access to the bulk of the game's stages. And there are 100 stages to take on, though I haven't been able to unlock them all. So what are these challenges, you might ask? Well, first you'll need to know all of the weapons you have at your disposal because they are vital to completing challenges. You have a standard shot that fires directly in front of you and is fairly weak to be honest. And more importantly, you have what the game calls your dolls. Basically, little pods attached to your ship that can be moved all around the screen to damage enemies and absorb bullets. Your dolls are also capable of four different super attacks when you activate them while also pushing the right stick in different directions. And this, for the most part, is how you'll fulfill each stage's goals. And while this is really simple at first, it becomes much more difficult as you progress through the game. Over time, you'll be confronted with more enemies, more bullets, and less time to complete your objectives. It's honestly not very intuitive, and I wasn't sure what to make of this game at first, but once I got my bearings, I started having a lot of fun with this game, and much like Rattergy Swag, what seems simple at first becomes much more challenging the more time you spend with it, and this can be a very addictive game. If you like your shooters nice and simple though, maybe something in the Raiden series or classic Toa Plan, the gameplay here might leave you scratching your head. Again, it's very unlike any other shooter I've ever played, and it's certainly not for everyone. It definitely is for me, though. I grew to love this game. So aside from the gameplay, the most obviously striking aspect of this game are the visuals, which to put it mildly, are very colorful. Novello Swamp, again much like Rattergy Swag, features a cell shaded graphic style, but more than that, the visual designs are very quizzical to me. It's hard to put my finger on just what the stages and enemies are actually supposed to be, but I don't really mind so much because this game can be absolutely dazzling when there are lots of enemies on screen being destroyed in rapid succession. So dazzling, in fact, that I sometimes actually lose track of where my ship is as it gets lost among the myriad of colors, stars, and explosions. How the hell are you supposed to dodge bullets when you can't actually see through them all to the craziness being splashed across the screen? Honestly, I just sort of 
hope for the best and when the absurdly colorful dust finally settles hopefully you made it through okay Overall, I love the visuals in this game, even the character designs that appear on the menu screen and cutscenes look great, and if nothing else, you can say the visual style is certainly unique. As for the soundtrack, it's also very good, but if you like your shooters with super high tempo, heart pounding tracks that really get you into the action, you won't find much of that here. The music is mostly very subdued, slow paced electronic synth and lo-fi music which i do like a lot but i'm not sure it exactly fits with this genre regardless with the unusual but also fun and addictive gameplay and explosively colorful visuals i can recommend this game to shooter fans as long as you don't mind something a little different it's illmatic envelope swamp and despite my initial confusion it's awesome Awesome!